Alex should have been diagnosed at birth. I mean, there was enough things wrong. But an incredible number of doctors really were not familiar with cystic fibrosis. And all of a sudden, she was born on October 30th, 1971, and early in 72, she became really ill. I mean, I'd heard the word cystic fibrosis, but I had no idea what it was, how serious it was, and, and I had to look it up in the dictionary. And, and found out that it was fatal and life expectancy was very short. I mean, it, it just pulled the rug right from underneath of you. And so uh, my affiliation with the foundation really began that year in 1972. We had this huge board and there were regional trustees and at-large trustees and God only knows what kind of trustees. And most of us were parents. And we were so frustrated. So there was just nothing, there was no real research being done. There wasn't any money. We had very, very uh, little awareness. And, and, um, and it was hard to grow beyond parents and families. When I wrote the book about Alex, and attitudes were already starting to change then, it gave a, a, a person, a picture, a portrait that, that people could identify with. Uh, I've also, for many years now, had people come up to me like when I'm signing books and say, uh, my name is Alex and I was named after your daughter. I don't know how many Alex's there are, but they're an, an awful lot. So she was important and she didn't mean something with her short life. Uh, and that continues to just, just make me very, very satisfied. It's the small thing that I could do. Doris had become the head of the board of trustees and Bob Dressing was the executive vice president and I became um, <laughs> by default <laughs> the, uh, the chairman because I had been uh, the second man uh, on, on the board and um, the things I did best as chairman were not things I did but picking the right people and we had stumbled in the beginning because we didn't have the right people running it. And, and that leadership, uh, Dressing and Doris at his flank and, and Bob Bell at his other flank, um, is what made it so successful, I, I do think. So we began to, to be able to get better and, and, and better research, which we continue to this day. What I would tell someone whose who's child, um, who just found out that their child had CF, I think I would start by saying how tough it was because I would say, you have extraordinary hope. It's, it's, it's been a long battle, but I, I foresee a time when there will be a control and maybe even a, a, a cure for, for, for CF. So I would try to contrast the, the, the desperate hopelessness of that time with the fantastic brightness and optimism uh, today. And I would also tell them, you've got a hell of a foundation behind you. 